if you had plans on heading in the area tomorrow, we will have some better wind conditions. Talking about today, however, we do still have our winds in place. A little bit of those gusts still sticking around. Temperature wise, usually we're at that 62 mark. We came in short of that today, but not by much. Still in the upper 50s across most of the area. We've dropped off from those upper 50s. We're in the upper 40s, lower 50s under mostly cloudy skies currently. As we make our way into our lows, we're going to see that those clouds will still be sticking around and temperatures are going to be on the brisk side. We're talking mid to upper 40s and we'll see some 30s on the map too, especially across the lower Hudson Valley and portions of Jersey. We had a west flow this morning. We've switched up to a northwest flow and that's allowing for that wraparound cloud activity to come in from yesterday's low pressure system with the addition of a trough in the area. High pressure system does sit out to the west of us. There's two of them that is going to park itself in uh, actually influence our weather pattern for a lot of next week. It'll also have a, a, its impacts on tomorrow. Temperature wise will be about five degrees warmer than we were today across the region. So upper 50s, low 60s for most of our boroughs and portions of Jersey and the island as well. Take a look at those high pressure systems. They're not just in place for tomorrow. This will be the case for Tuesday as well. And the longer they're sitting there, the warmer that we will get. And they're also allowing or helping to keep all of that moisture away, kind of just creating a, a force field to keep all that moisture up and around us. So even Thursday, we can't expect our temperatures to be up nice. So we're talking into the 70s still. A quick check on the tropics right now. We do still have Hurricane Tammy. It has passed over the Lesser Antilles, sitting out to the east of Puerto Rico there. Now its track has changed, still moving with those winds at about 85 miles per hour. Now has a northwest movement here, whereas before we did see it continuing to stay off to the northeast, but it does look to move to the northwest and get into the Bermuda area by late this week. But the good news is that after it goes to to a level one through Wednesday, it will have a week into a tropical storm status. So we'll keep continue to keep our eyes on that with the addition of our fall foliage. We're seeing some of those deeper colors, especially upstate Vermont, New Hampshire, and we're starting to see portions of Jersey just reach that partial level. So it's going to be a good week to get out and see all of those color changes. We do have nine days left on the countdown for Halloween. Plenty of time to get your costumes if you are a last minute shopper like myself. Seven day forecast showing a nice week ahead. I'm thinking it's looking really good. We start off in the low 60s, but it's not long before we warm up. We'll be in the upper 70s by the end of the week, and that's going to get us into next weekend as well. We have ended that streak of wet weather for our weekends. But take a look at Sunday. Temps dropping back down into the 60s. But as of now, things do look to remain dry on the home front. Back to you.